Kwai Club Online, Princess Mononoke Forest Spirit Garden. Hi friends, and welcome back to Kwai Club Online. Today we are going to make a forest spirit garden in a jar from the movie Princess Mononoke. You'll see I get some glue on the sides of mine, so be very careful when you're gluing your figures down. <laughs> okay, today you will need... Um, a pen or pencil, some scissors in addition to what's in your craft kits. Uh, you'll find a fake tree, maybe a different style, a plastic jar, a faux rock, uh, some super glue, be super careful with that, a uh, forest spirit figurine, the poses may vary, it's a couple of mushrooms, and some faux grass. I already cut some out of mine for my sample, but there's plenty to do more. Okay, let's get started. Um, you're going to take the lid off of your jar. And first we're going to trace uh, the jar lid on the back of your grass. Um, you can use pencil or pen, it won't be visible, whatever you choose. Um, just make sure it's dark enough for you to see. I use pencil here and it's kind of light, but I can see it. Um, and just trace as close to it as you can so that it's easy to get a um, appropriate size circle cut for your grass. This is going to make a mess, so you might want to cut the grass over a garbage can or a um, paper towel or something because it gets shredded grass everywhere. Um, so you'll want to cut just inside the circle that you traced and that should be the right size for your jar then. You can see I've got bits of grass everywhere on the table in front of me here. Once you've got that cut out, um, you can uh, set aside your grass and your scissors and you can test it in your jar, see if it fits. You might need to trim it a little bit on some one side or another, but mine fits pretty well the first try. And then um, you're going to want to get it out so that you can glue it down. Um, <clears throat> your super glue, be very careful with it. Uh, this is a one-time use glue, so... Um, you can see it's sealed until you twist the cap all the way down and then it will start coming out the top. You don't have to cut the top. You see, I already got glue on my fingers. <laughs> um, so just put a little bit of glue, uh, on the grass bottom there. Set aside your glue where you won't get it on your table. Try not to drop your grass like I just did. <laughs> Fortunately, it landed glue side up, so I didn't get any on the floor. And go ahead and carefully stick it in your jar, trying not to get any glue on the sides of your jar there. All right, so that's down. <clears throat> you can decide where you want to put your rock. Uh, these are the smallest ones I could find. They're still pretty big for this size jar. Once you know a position you want it in, go ahead and put some glue on it and put it in place. All right, so you have your rock and your grass in place. Next, uh, we're going to glue down uh, your other fun accessories. So uh, I'm going to start with the big mushroom. You'll dab a glue on the bottom there. Careful, it's, oops, it's coming out real fast there. And for these things, you're going to want to hold them in place for a bit. Um, because of the, the type, the grass and the glue don't like to stick to each other too much. So that's why we're using super glue. Um, so once you've got it in place, 
you're going to want to kind of hold it down for a minute to let the glue set. Just be patient. It's hard, I know. I had a lot of impatience and ended up with a lot of glue on my hands. Particularly when you come to your figurine. Um, it, uh, if you have a standing one, it's going to be kind of hard. Uh, most of the ones uh, that I was able to give out were seated, so they may balance better. But um, so for like this guy, um, having to put glue on the bottoms of his feet, and I'm going to have him up against the rock, so I'm going to put some glue on the back of, of his head, so he's actually going to be kind of glued to the rock in place. And I'm going to hold him in place for quite a bit while it glue sets. And you can see I'm, I'm going to kind of hold him. As I said, the biggest key is going to be patience. To make sure that give you give the super glue time to set. We're using the super glue gel, which is a little thicker. Um, you may not need to use glue for your tree. It uh, if it stands up on its own, you can test it and see. All right, so we have our uh, figure and our uh, mushrooms in place. And now it's time for to add the tree. You may need to trim the trunk a little bit. And just use a pair of scissors. And um, it may not need glue. The, like, the grass likes to catch the tree trunk in place, so um, you may not need it. My forest figure's coming unstuck because I didn't wait for the glue to dry. Um, your forest figure may glow in the dark. It said they were supposed to on the box when I ordered them, but I haven't tested it. So don't be surprised if you see it glowing <laughs> at night. Uh, when you're all done, you can put your lid on. And there you have your Princess Mononoke Forest Spirit Garden. That's all for now. Bye, friends.